Did you know that conflicts between the North and South are like conflicts between siblings or feuding neighbors? There's a property line between neighbors. Neighbors are always complaining who has more land or who is building over the line. The North and South also complain on more land and they had a line as well. With with siblings, one one always wanted more power than the other one so they so they fight. Well, the North and South wanted their own power so they fought a war. Slavery in the US was when White people enslaved African Americans because they thought the African Americans had less power than the whites because of their skin color. They did many bad things to African Americans, such as sell them off at auctions for high profit in exchange for cheap annual labor. While the South loved slaves, the North hated slavery. Fort Sumter is where the Civil War started. The most African Americans I mean, the most Americans died in this war than any other war. More than 620,000 died, which was 2% of our population. People fought in the Civil War as young as 13 years of age. The Civil War ended after the North beat the South in the Battle of Gettysburg, and President Lincoln made his famous Gettysburg Address. The North and South had very different geographical differences. The South didn't have many factories. Their economy, their economy was based on farming. Their main crop they made the most money off cash crop was cotton. The South also had slow and deep rivers. The North was very different than the South. The, the North had cities and factories. Their economy was based on manufacturing. The North rivers were shallow and fast moving. The North and South had very different points of views. The South believed that they should be able to keep slaves. They also felt they were allowed to cede whenever they wanted. The North felt differently than the South. They thought slavery should be abolished. They said all men should be treated equally. Also, they felt, felt, also they felt that all states, part of the country, stay in the country and cannot cede whenever they want. After the war, President Lincoln made his Gettysburg Address. The South surrendered and joined the Union again. The, they made a law stating no state in the Union can cede. And they, and they made a law that all slaves in the Union are free and cannot be enslaved. Shortly after the Civil War, President Lincoln was killed by John Wilkes Booth at a show he was watching. Even though he died, the country was one, once again became one whole. The Civil War the Civil War was bad and sad, but it helped our country solve its problems. If the Civil War did not happen, any state would be able to drop out of the country when they wanted to. And since this happened, the African Americans are free and and not enslaved. Even though this war was bloody and sad, it helped our country to settle their differences and become one whole country and and is not in war all war all the time with each other.